What are the guidelines for mentoring? Well, first is authenticity. Relationships must be authentic to have any impact. So the number one rule is be yourself. People can spot a poser a mile away. Second is flexibility. There is no one fixed manner or method to mentor someone. Relationships develop as participants are comfortable moving forward. So build a time together around your schedule and around your mentee schedule. Well, next is entrepreneurship. Mentoring relationships take on the characteristics of their participants and meeting formats can vary. Some mentors may want to meet one-on-one -on -one, and while some may want to meet in groups, each mentor should be able to tailor his activity to meet his schedule and those of his mentees. The next is respect for each person's journey. Everyone starts out at a different place. And each mentor should deal with people where they are, not where he expects them to be. Next is patience. A mentor shouldn't try to force anything. There is no reason to hurry. Let relationships develop naturally. Next, be led by the Holy Spirit. The Lord may direct one person to a mentor for a long season or a short season, or for a particular reason. Next is freedom to fail. Not every attempt to develop a mentoring relationship will be successful. See, the Holy Spirit may direct a mentee toward another mentor in the program, or he may direct the mentee away from the program entirely. And it's critical to recognize the Holy Spirit's sovereignty in this area. And finally, there's no selling. Trying to sell a product or service on our site will get you banned, so don't even go there. In our next video, we'll look deeper into the different models of mentoring.